Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel Scorpio. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good Scorpio. This reading for today, this is a next 24 hour star reading session for you Scorpio. This is your daily collective reading. I am channeling the next 30 days. What is the guided message for the Scorpio sign? You have the Ten of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands. What is the message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? What is the message for the Scorpio sign? We will pick up love, career, money, and general situationship, Scorpio. It's possible that you're struggling to fall asleep or struggling to sleep for some of you guys, okay? Let's see. Okay, what's coming towards the Scorpio sign? You have a Nine of Cups. You have a Nine of Cups. You have a Three of Swords. We'll start with energy checked in and let's see what is coming towards you. What is connected to your situation, your energy. Think about your focus. This is the Nine of Cups. The Seven of Cups is here. <clears throat> seven, 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 seven. You have the Knight of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Devil card, Scorpio. Could be dealing with the Capricorn. What can I get for the Scorpio sign and the Three of Pentacles? Okay, all right. Let's start your reading. Um. Okay, so. The Nine of Cups and the Three of Swords and the Seven of Swords, Scorpio, to start off. There's something in here that um, it feels like um, you're not taking it seriously or they're not taking you seriously, okay? Um, you are connected to a situation or a focus where it's possible that you're not taking it seriously or they're not taking you seriously okay with the nine of cups and the three of swords the six of pentacles in here the the world card and the star card um i feel like scorpio and i'm seeing seven again you're interested okay this is a situation where you're interested and they're interested but you guys are not showing that you're interested. You know, it could be a friend, it could be a lover, it could be, it's a situation where it has potential, okay? It's giving me this feeling, the star card, that the person, the project, the situation, it has so much potential with the star card. However, you could be showing that today you want it, but tomorrow you don't want it. Or it could be the person, the situation that you're dealing with. They could be showing they want you and then tomorrow they don't want you. So there's been a lot of that energy. And because of that consistent inconsistency, like... um. I mean, I wouldn't blame you if you won't take them seriously because they've been inconsistent. So it could be by the time they're showing consistency, you won't believe, you're not believing them. So it's giving me this vibe that there's so much potential between the two of you, but because you and this person or company or situation, you've been showing a lot of inconsistency. Like they could be hot and cold today and they could, you could be hot and cold today. So it's messed up i would say it's a there's a there's something that because of the previous action and the previous energy and be, because of the previous miscommunication it has led you to probably misunderstood that this person is actually showing consistency now in both sides scorpio it is both sides okay it is both sides like they could be they could be telling you the truth but you won't believe it because of their past action it's like that and they feel the same way too scorpio that they're telling you the truth they you could be telling them the truth but 
they won't take you seriously. It's like now, it's all a big joke for some of you guys, okay? And it's both sides, Scorpio. Let's look at the chariot card in here, okay? Because you could be wondering, I'm serious now, yeah. You're serious, but they're not taking it seriously. And it's because of some stuff in the past, okay? Yeah, the Empress card. This has so much potential. And with the chariot card, sorry guys, my neighbor is doing some lawn mowing and you could hear it in the background. I'm sorry. Hopefully my headset is blocking it. The Empress card. So the chariot card, the Empress card, the two of swords. You might have missed this opportunity already, Scorpio. It's like, it's a beautiful opportunity, but you might have missed it, Scorpio. Like, this is a, this is a beautiful, like, you guys are beautiful people, beautiful, you guys both have beautiful offers. You know, it's a reading where, you know, it's, it's a, you know, it's like you woke up at the wrong side of the bed. But you guys are both a match. Like this is a situation or a person where you guys are actually a perfect match. But it so happened that that day, <laughs> you're, in, you're not in a good mood and they're not in a good mood. You're both, both of you guys are in a defensive mood. Okay? Like this is a storyline where the universe is telling you that you found a perfect match or it was actually good. You know that. Like spiritually, you felt the good vibe, okay? Spiritually, you felt the good vibe. There is a voice inside your heart and your head screaming and saying, that's actually a good offer. That's actually a beautiful offer. It so happened the execution, like um, they just caught you up in a bad day and you just caught them up in a bad day. It, it's like that, Scorpio, because it's beautiful but you missed it and they missed it because of some technical issues and error and there's a knight of pentacles in here which is like follow me follow me follow you okay so energetically what's coming towards you is a missed opportunity a beautiful but missed opportunity but with the knight of cups and seven of cups in here all hope is not lost scorpio it's like hmm lesson learned scorpio lesson learned them too this person too lesson learned when you know you know when you know it's good it's good keep it up keep it you know keep it don't play with your food you know look at the nine of cups don't play with your food don't play with your lover don't play cupid if it's serious both of you it's both your fault let's look at the knight of cups and because the center of the reading is the knight of cups this is all about love all about good it's all about love yeah okay yeah queen of cups okay this is you scorpio scorpio the universe is telling you when you know it's good it's good be direct be transparent show them the power of a scorpio show them the power of your feelings scorpio i think they might have misinterpreted you show them the power of your feelings show them the power of your intuition only you can do the scorpio like you can be direct with your feelings they will take you scorpio they will take it um i think between you um between you and this person you're more emotionally intuitive and emotionally aligned to open up like this reading it's it's already an advice um the universe and your higher self is telling you that you will have a second chance with this um, offer. You will have a second chance with this beautiful missed opportunity. And for it to work out is to be emotionally transparent and emotionally connected with them. Like somehow you've got to show them your feelings in order for them. Like you're the one who's more vulnerable in here. And I'm hearing the word. 
like you would if you want this you have to take the lead Scorpio if if you want this person situation to work out you have to take the lead in here you're more emotionally powerful than them showing your emotions will allow them to surrender their ego I mean in front of them is the queen of emotions they will submit to your feelings they will submit like if you are showing direct interest direct feelings you know whether it's platonic romantic because the queen of what to be honest with you scorpio once this person connect with you you won't be able to resist it you won't be able to resist this offer this beautiful but missed opportunity you will surrender your feelings to this person and once you're transparent and vulnerable and direct because you guys already missed it because you don't want to take it things seriously so lesson learned from you lesson learned from them you guys are both defensive in the past or maybe recently but you have an opportunity again look at that because what's coming towards you the chariot card you have dismissed a beautiful opportunity or they have dismissed you so there's so much learnings in here like like you go there in the corner Scorpio okay you missed it this person you go there in that corner you missed it I'll give you a chance okay because the hidden energy because the center of the reading I missed a beautiful person or an opportunity seven of cups I'm confused I'm confused why why did I missed it what happened playing Cupid playing ego I don't know it could be I don't I don't blame you I don't blame them but it's more of like it so happened that you connect in the wrong day but even though it didn't work out now you know that when it comes to this person or situation you've got to be transparent you've got to be authentic you've got to take it seriously at least one of you would have to show and display the authentic the authenticity of your intention because they will follow and I see you doing that because look at that the hidden energy what's coming towards you is now something solid in the past it was authentic but it was in inconsistent they were real but because of the instability of the communication inconsistency inconsistency it, it was taken not in a serious way because of that missed opportunity you and this person have come to us have come to solidify how important it is you are to them and how important it is them to you so there was a lesson learning here because and you know what the devil card the ace of pentacles in here let's look at the devil card I feel good about the devil yeah queen of wands you know what Scorpio this person is this person is going to surrender their ego to you they will surrender this ace of pentacles okay this ace of pentacles they're surrendering their ego to you in this reading I see you being transparent I'm seeing you being real transparent and direct and they will surrender their ego to you you cannot resist like this is once you and this person or I don't know it could be platonic it could be romantic but once this person shows up again once you connect again you will never be able to resist them and they will never be able to resist you because you guys both already have made a big mistake in the past and you will never repeat it and they will never repeat it again they will surrender ego and stubbornness because they cannot resist you you know look at you they won't resist the queen of wands look at that the charm the power who would resist a queen of wands with full of emotions look at that they won't be able to resist you so even though there is ego and stubbornness in the background they will surrender it to you here's my ego here's my stubbornness why because you disempower me like this this reading is telling you Scorpio if if you guys connect reconnect again because I'm seeing it I'm seeing it here be transparent be vocal about your feelings it will make them crazy Scorpio you know the Queen of Wands like hey I miss you oh my gosh they will be crazy 
they will submit ego they will be they will go crazy for you Scorpio I tell you if you are transparent and showing your interests and feelings they will go crazy they will surrender ego they will throw all their ego their stubbornness and they will surrender it okay I feel like Scorpio once this person connect with you because you've learned the lesson Scorpio you will be comfortable with your feelings okay in a nutshell because this is a queen of cups and the queen of wands i see you being comfortable with your feelings i see you being transparent and comfortable to show your real feelings and they will take you seriously because they're gonna submit their ego they're gonna give up their ego and they're gonna take you seriously scorpio because why not passion like this is you know like the queen of cups and the queen of wands this is this is so powerful and disarming because you're transparently available your feelings and you're also very seductive look at that this is this is a powerful combination to seduce someone charming and then full of feelings Scorpio you won Scorpio this is what I have for you guys thank you so much guys for connecting with me thank you so much guys for being here please don't forget to click the bell and please give me the permission to connect with you energetically and click the subscribe button Scorpio I will see you soon you stay a Scorpio stay powerful okay bye guys